Schwartz. Hi, my name is Samuel. We are here in the Zern Harvesting Factory in Merching in our paint shop. And we want to use the weekend and show you some details on the Zern ProfiCut whole crop header. The ProfiCut whole crop header for John Deere Series 8000 and 9000 SPFH is available and working with 5.3 meter and 7 meter respectively. It's a ProfiCut 700 and considering ground speeds of up to 20 kilometers per hour, you can even use the biggest machines to their capacity. The ProfiCut was developed together with the latest generation of forage harvesters for direct cut of biomass, like the traditional crops, grasses, zern, rye, wedge rye, but also more challenging crops like cup plant or sorghum millet. So let's have a look at the interfaces to the forage harvester first. The ProfiCut adapter frame has two spindles to adjust the angle, the angle of the header individually and react to different tire wheel options on the forage harvester, but also to different harvesting conditions. Part of this adapter frame is the PTO quick coupler. So you don't have to leave the cabin to put the header on. The drive line is automatically connected. To adapt the header to different channel widths, you can simply mount those cover plates in two different positions. With the multi-coupler, you connect all the hydraulics and electrics in one move. Part of this is also the automatic header identification. This, for example, ensures a constant header speed. So even when the chopper engine RPM is dropping, ProfiCut speed remains constant, which is a good feature for constant feeding, respectively cutting length. From the main gearbox, we move over to the right-hand side, where we have this three-speed gearbox for the auger drive. So you can adjust the auger speed, respectively the feeding speed, to match different harvesting conditions, crops, but also cutting lengths. When we now open the right-hand side door of the ProfiCut, we can see the massive auger chain drive. As you can see, the automatic chain tensioning system keeps the chain tension right even when reversing. For a high wear life and optimum uptime, we have an automatic chain lubrication system on the ProfiCut header. So a small pump permanently adds some oil to the auger chain. While we are already talking about the auger, we have a huge 800 mm auger in the ProfiCut with a large auger flights to handle even high throughputs in the big auger through and feed the chopper evenly. A very important detail on the auger are the conical auger flights. This ensures an even feeding on the whole channel width even with large throughputs. For extreme crops and conditions, you can fit additional paddles on the auger. They are now stored in the back of the header. From the auger, we now move on to the mobile bar. In the ProfiCut, we have a Kuhn OptiDisc Elite mobile bar installed, which is one of the most sold mobile bars in the world. Let's focus on the crop flow first. So we do have these narrow gaps between the discs on the one hand side, and we do have the wide gaps on the other side. And this is the narrow part is where you actually cut while you feed the crops through the large gaps over the stainless steel floor into the oil. Of course, there is a, an overload breakaway system for every individual disc, but also a nice quick change system. So there's this lever, which you can simply push in behind the knife pull it down to release the blade. The Kuhn mower bar is lubricated for a lifetime and has very little play between the individual discs. So we can synchronize the two bars perfectly, have the drives outside where they don't disturb the crop flow without having any risk of collisions in the center. Okay, let's follow the mower bar drive line back to the central gearbox. Here on the left hand side, we do have the four groove power band with automatic belt tensioner to transfer the high power for both mower bars. Following the bottom drive shaft, we do have an overload clutch for the mower bars and then another PTO shaft going back to the main gearbox. 
After having this walk around the whole header with all important main functions, we want to show you some more features and options, like for example, this operating hour reader. Also, we haven't been talking about this front deflector yet. So at this point, there is a, just a bar installed and the function is to push the crop forward so that the knives can then hit it and the, the auger can pull the crop in with the bottom first. Alternatively, we can also install a passive roller system, which is especially helpful when you're working in tangled crops like cup plant, where a proper crop flow is a big challenge. So we are pretty flexible here. The whole system is height adjustable from the cabin. There are hydraulic cylinders. And so you can adapt it even to three meter high crops if you want. An important detail is this curtain, which is not installed to the deflector, but to the header itself. So even when the deflector is at top height, you always have a proper protection in front of the knife. As an option for the Profi Cut, we offer a side knife kit for the left and the right hand side. It's hydraulically driven with a motor on the top, installed with quick locks only, so you can quickly attach it. And the whole unit is protected with a breakaway system. So when you hit a foreign object, the whole knife can move away to the back. When you're not using the side knives, you can simply store them on the ProfiCut trader like that. So the same interface with the quick lock and even a place to store the hydraulic hoses. We have now made our way to the trader. This is probably not always in the spotlight, but a crucial part of the flexibility when having to switch fields and attach or detach the header quite often. The first thing I want to point out about the trailer is the hydraulic lifting mechanism. So as you can see, we got a decent ground clearance with the trailer, but when you want to attach or detach the header, you can lower the trailer all the way to the ground. Another important feature on this trailer is the four-wheel steering. So this is very important when you want to go around narrow corners. And from this steering front axle, there is a master cylinder pushing the oil back to the rear axle, where then the wheels are hydraulically steered as well. When the header was loaded centric with this handy indicator, you can just lock it into place with this transport lock. So it's just one lever clamping the motor bar and at the same time locking the rear transport lock. Okay, that's it. This was our ProfiCut plus trailer walk around video. If you enjoy watching this kind of video, please leave a comment, thumbs up, whatever. If you need any more information, feel free to approach us. We're always there. Thanks for watching.